Fruit Monster for Monster Vape Labs. The Fruit Monster line was sent to me for a review from Monster Vape Labs. This is their new line that just came out at the beginning of June. They sent me both the Salt Nick and the regular Nick versions. The larger regular Nick bottles come in 100ml Chubby Gorilla bottles for $26.99 and nicotine strengths of 0, 3, and 6 milligrams. And those are made with 75% VG, 25% PG. The smaller Salt Nick bottles come in 30ml Fine Tip bottles for $21.99 and they come in nicotine strengths of 24 milligrams and 48 milligrams. And they have the same VG PG ratio as a regular nicotine, so 75 VG, 25 PG. And just for reference, the Salt Nick that they sent me is 48 milligrams nicotine and the regular Nick liquids that they sent me are six milligrams nicotine. So that's what I'm testing for this review. All right, so the first one up, strawberry kiwi pomegranate. Monster Vape Labs describes strawberry kiwi pomegranate as a refreshing burst of sweet sugary strawberry with a hint of tanginess from the kiwi and the pomegranate. The bottle says this mix has 50% strawberry, 25% kiwi, and 25% pomegranate. This is a really unique flavor with the addition of the pomegranate. The strawberry is there for sure, and it has just a slight hint of kiwi. And then that pomegranate adds a really interesting twist to that strawberry flavor. It's pretty good. The flavor is very strong and sweet in the lower nicotine 100 ml bottles. When I take this up to high wattage, the flavor is amazing. In the Salt Nick version, the flavor is the same, just not as intense. I think they did a really good job of making the flavor come out in the high nicotine strengths, which isn't always the case with other Salt Nick brands, but overall, both are very good. All right, now Mango Peach Guava. Monster Vape Labs describes this as a sugary, tangy mango with a touch of peach and guava. And this mix has 50% mango, 25% peach, 25% guava. Now in the regular Nick version, I would have expected the mango to be much more prominent since there's more of it in the mix, but it actually seems to mix equally with the guava. I get both the mango and guava strong off the bat. It's not overpowering, but the flavor really comes out nice and sweet. It's hard to get the peach, but it's very light in the overall mix. Now as for the salt Nick version, right on the get-go, I immediately taste that mango flavor mixed with that very unique tanginess of guava, and then it starts to round out with just a slight bit of peach. The mango doesn't seem to be really strong like a lot of other mango e-liquids, but the mango and guava seem to mix almost equally, and I mostly taste the peach after I've exhaled. I really like both the mango and guava, so for me, overall, it's a nice, sweet, smooth flavor. All right, now blueberry, raspberry, lemon. So Monster Vape Labs describes this as a crisp, sugary blueberry with the addition of raspberry and lemon to round it out. The ingredients ratio on the bottle says that this has 50% blueberry, 25% raspberry, and 25% lemon. All right, regular Nick first. So one of the important things to note here is that this isn't a blue raspberry, but actually a blueberry raspberry. They're totally different things. Anyway, so even though there's more blueberry in this mix than the other flavors, the blueberry isn't really prominent. Both the blueberry and raspberry seem to combine pretty equally to make a, a super sweet sugary flavor. The overall flavor isn't really strong, but it's sweet. It's really good if you like sweet e-liquids, which I do, so I like this one quite a bit. The lemon is very light, but if you know to look for it, you can find it. It really just adds a hint of lemon. All right, the salt Nick version. So the blue raspberry is very good and it's really smooth. There's just a tiny hint of lemon, but it's a little hard to get. The overall flavor is actually pretty light. It's good, but it's mild. I would have liked for the flavor to be a little bit stronger here. So I think all three of these flavors are really good. They're sweet, they're good, and the flavor comes out really well in all of them. All right, thanks for checking out this review and I'll catch you in the next one.